Hi, hello again. Right, so it's Saturday, there's something or other, I don't know, it's November anyway. Um, I don't know, <laughs> you don't know, it's 6th of November, is it not? Yeah, so um, my uh, listing update, my uh, vlog of nothing, yes. Um, yesterday, I just stuck my head in it. I was a bit irritated. In fact, I've gone into irritation mode this morning. Um, uh, me and my husband, we've already had like a row and I couldn't really tell you what it was about, but we ended up, he, he, I bought some trousers for him for work, which he hadn't really sort of like helped me. So I'd ended up just buying him these trousers. Of course they don't fit, they're the wrong size. So the upshot is, is that I now have a pair of Calvin Klein jeans and some other, um, columbia trousers which were actually too big for him so now they've appeared so i've got to return these other things which is annoying because it's taken it's actually literally taken me uh two and a half weeks to get the bloody things delivered because they came and didn't leave a card because obviously you know i'm highly clairvoyant so that rumor's gone around so i wasn't supposed to know to a come down to the postman and b when I didn't come down to the postman, go to the sorting office. So I had to go and do sorting office bloody visit um, on a Saturday morning, which I didn't want to do. There were people in there having a row. So I just stood outside the door and the automatic door kept opening and closing uh, for no one. Because <laughs> I just didn't want to go in. There were five people in there and two people had decided that they were just going to have a row with the guy behind the desk. So I had been to the post office as well. So I'd sent my dad's um, Chris, Christmas, birthday, birthday presents off and some stuff for my mum so that she's got something to watch Downton Abbey um, while we're on lockdown. Um, and then I sold a really short denim skirt, um, a Lego set, which I put on, I only listed it yesterday and um it immediately sold within about 20 minutes even though i thought i'd priced it higher than others um a pair of trousers and a tie and then some uh workout trousers so that's all i've sold for the last day but i went and posted them as well and i'm sure i had something else but never mind yeah so um Thursday I I'll show you I'll show you I'll prom promise you promises and promises and promises because as I said I've been keeping my notes so on Thursday the 5th I have listed 15 new things and yesterday I did 22 and I haven't done anything any listing yet this morning um, I mean to be honest been doing my jigsaw after I had this row <laughs> I mean that's the reality of it all isn't it I didn't I, I didn't think we'd be like three days into it and already having a row <sighs> so it is decent sunlight so I'm just going to push through and do some board games I listed a various stupid things yesterday so I'll show you what I've actually done of this is actually listed all of this clothing bits and this is small amount that I've got photographed that's ready to go um that's a royal Worcester thing I don't know if I showed you that on a haul and that which I got on Monday um and then various other little things like mugs and the rest of it and an egg cup and this is the situation with the jigsaw so it'd be quite nice actually if I could finish this I could just photograph it and prove that it's completed but you know you've got to have something to chill and squatter here and my coffee's gone cold and this pile is technically smaller but it probably doesn't look it I've been taking bits off here and I think that's it is that if I take 10 things off a day and photograph them then it's easier to cope with so um, obviously that is my usual ph photography area and that's why I get frustrated at this time of year because I get this rhombus of, of window light there. 
I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine, but that was the other argument because I hadn't cleaned the sheets. <laughs> you know, uh, we we must do the sheets every every week. You know, and I know this, but I I don't know why I hadn't done it. And <laughs> I should have stripped the bed on Monday, and I didn't. Um, and the people downstairs have activated retard mode, so they're um, smashing the door continuously. So this is my photographing area at the moment. Um, so that one's ready to go. So we've got a bit jammy with this. And that this sealed. So if I can just work through, you know, at least ten of these games, maybe some of these books. And this stupid guitar, which keeps falling over. I need to do that. <laughs> Get rid of the things that keep falling over. Then that'll be um, a bonus. I will show you this, actually, in case I end up selling it, really, before I do the haul for it. Um, so I've paid £5 for this. Um, but I'm going to ask 40 um, This is a matching mug that I've had listed for six months with no interest. So that's going with it. I thought I had to, but I didn't. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to ask 40 pounds for that. Somebody's had sold one for 20 and somebody's sold one for 30, but there's no other competition. And if I end up stuck with this, then, you know, there's worse things that could happen. <laughs> Because I really like that. And they are really hard to find because I've never seen that. So it's probably the most I've paid for something in a while. Five pounds. So this is what I'm working through. A lot of my stuff seems to be in uh, different languages. But I think a lot of stuff is made um, in the Netherlands and Germany. So this is what I'm going through. I don't even remember buying this. I've just looked up on my spreadsheet. But these things... These are going on today, and that's my today's update, and I will finish the jigsaw. I think that's important. So let's see what I can get on. Right, so it's Monday. Here are the eyes, here are the eyes. This guy is not happy, this guy is not happy. Sit back, sit back, sit back. We're not got the, we're not got the tripod up, we're not got the tripod up. Yeah, so today is the 9th of November. It's day five of lockdown with your cap down. Yeah, living the dream. <sighs> so I'm going to show you what I've sold and um, I'm going to show you the state of the living room. I am absolutely determined to shift some of this stuff today um, because it's my husband's birthday tomorrow and, you know, I would like to declutter the coffee table that I'm looking at, which looks like, you know, some kind of, what well, it looks like most of the corners on the streets of Hume, where people just go, I'm just fly tipping today, I don't need this mattress. I get through a mattress a week. Now, talking of mattresses, you know, it's that time of the month. I'm in my 40s and I've been using new period protection and it's failed on me. So I'm going to be doing a review of that because I thought I'd try it for three months. This is why he's upset because he was in the bed and he did not expect to wake up in a pool of blood. He did not expect that. Oh, he's very shaken. Yeah, clean sheets. We're very impressed. Right, so, you know, this is an eBay, eBay vlog, not a, a brutality vlog. <sighs> so, this is it, this is it, the start of a new week. <laughs> okay, right, I've made seven sales and I'll show you what they are. I think, yes, yes, that's going to happen. First, I'll show you the um, state of the living room because obviously it's been the weekend. I try not to work too much over the weekend because I like to see my husband. You know, I've chosen to spend my life with him and he just now spends his life with uh, lots of stuff which isn't mine and isn't his but we're trying to resell so this stuff has got to leave the living room today what are you looking at now right okay let's let's do it let's show you the best this was all the stuff that i'm working through now i'm sure you know if you remember my previous video you'll realize that it probably has depleted a bit right this is the depletion 
this is what I've listed and there's other bits that I've listed. I've still got some bloody clothes there. Now they've got to be dealt with because the, the drafts are going to expire. Um, that's not got quite enough of the pieces with it, but I think I'll list it anyway. Um, I raided this one actually to put some in there and it still wasn't enough. So that one is super mastermind. This is classic mastermind. Um, yeah. Um, these books, um, like I said, they've come back from Amazon. Some of them have actually been selling. Um, that's a typical gift. So I'm hoping that goes. Yeah, I finished the jigsaw. <laughs> uh, so that's been photographed and listed. And um, these are the rest of the Amazon things. And yeah, this is where the stickers have been. So I need to do need to do more work with the elbow grease. It does work does work but some of them I haven't scrubbed it enough so these are the Amazon stickers that are left on these so I'm just going to be dealing with them and I should have done these prior to Halloween but I didn't uh, yeah this is a box of ties I've sold some ties absolutely loads I think this stuff as well that I need to sit and soak um, yeah, I think I'm going to be getting through this a lot quicker than it probably looks. Um, this is something that I was working on yesterday. Oh, this was quite funny, actually. What am I doing? I can't even... I don't even know how to operate my arms. Monday morning, my arms are broken. This was really funny. Well, it's not funny, actually. Um, it was in a right mess, so I've actually been cleaning this over the weekend. When I lifted this out... <laughs> There was a, a thing of backy there, um, which had probably been there since the... This is from 1993, this Metallica set. So there was a, a, a tobacco pouch and some other, like, contraband items in there. And annoyingly, I could get £30 for this. Um, I've turned this round because it had foam on it and all the foam had decayed. Uh, you can see there that it was really disgusting. So I've literally had to clean all of this. But annoyingly, disc number two is missing. So this is probably going to just be auctioned. I think it's still desirable. Um, it's got this uh, sort of uh, stencil in it. So I'm hoping that that... that will sell I'm sure I may be able to get 20 it's just annoying this CD actually sells for about 20 to 25 on its own but I'm not breaking this set up what with it being empty um, of one disc but that was quite funny <laughs> to, be, to be finding that and I mean they are videos you see so it's not that desirable but I mean some people are asking 80 for this yeah, they're asking it. They ain't getting it. Oh, and the tape split. I, I taped it up because it wasn't it wasn't sitting right. It's supposed to sit like that, and without the tape, it's like dropping down. So that was a bit of a long cleaning job. Uh, yeah, these are more Amazon things, which are just sat there since doomsday. Um, like I said, some of the Amazon stuff has actually been uh, selling quite easily. Um, both of these. I'm missing timers so you know <laughs> these are the things that are going to go to one side and and frustratingly this lovely little slider armor which I could potentially get 30 pounds resale for uh, so it's like a little projector thing you can see there what it is um when I pulled this out the batteries the batteries had an expiry date of like 1976 in them so they predate my you know uh, existence on the planet earth and i was going to give it a good clean now my husband's been trying his hardest to get into this but as you can see the metal strip in there was so corroded away um but the batteries the batteries were actually in there but for some reason They've corroded the top uh, strip that was in the bit above it because this isn't supposed to have anything in it other than a light bulb. I bought the bloody light bulbs to replace it because I thought, well, maybe that was it. But I didn't realise just how bad the corrosion was until 
my husband started having a good clean of it and the cleaning of it just completely expired it so he was trying to break this open but it's been glued and fused and it's not happening so I don't know what I'm going to do with that I may be lucky enough just to find that on its own one day so this is probably going to go in one of those piles where we wait we wait like in Little Britain <laughs> we do not know when we will stop waiting okay so yeah this is the situation I'm in I'm going to be clearing this or at least tidying it into the spare room I don't think the spare room is looking that bad actually let's get the light on let's get the light on yeah um yeah it does look bad in here oh why are there pillows in here i can't even get to my stock i've got to pull my stock out in a minute um yeah i know it doesn't look as bad as some people's and there is space now there um uh yeah if it's organized why on earth are there pillows that have like flown in oh, i'm not having this these can fly out put these in here put these on my husband's side of the sofa and then he can deal with it right yeah so this is going to be gone by the end of today uh, but I've already been clowning around half the morning and the time is ticking away we're running out of time lockdown will be over in three two it's taking me ages to pull this morning because I keep stopping and dancing you got to keep it moving and I have to keep going back in there because I'm forgetting what I'm looking for oh, this is the reality of being a mentalist never notice. I don't know what I don't know where this thing is. I've forgotten what it is again. It's a t-shirt. Um what is it? Uh, that's it, a stripy t-shirt from Primark. Who knew? Who knew? Um where is it? I've got all my stuff here and I've probably put too much in. Here it is! Here it is. Right, yes, I promise you. I promise you it's Primark, but it's Nirvana. Nirvana. I think I've got twelve ninety nine for this. It's definitely Primark. Promark. No, you're fucking up my mind. I didn't even notice. I've already put the stuff away in that box as well. I'm doing a bit of putting away. Right, I'm having to use my brain because usually I use my phone, but I'm recording now. Ah. Um, I've got some trousers that I need to find, and yeah, jeans, trousers. I've forgotten again. I've forgotten. I have forgotten again what I'm supposed to be in here for. Let's do some more dancing. You gotta keep it focused. Not me. Took a box out that I thought had Lego in it and it didn't. It had my shoes in it. Oh, the smell hit me. Maybe I didn't do a very good job cleaning them. Right, so now I'm looking for Lego. Oh my God. I have got to find some Lego wheels and I'm not quite sure which ones they are. Right, so I'll just put that over there because I know I've got to work out exactly which one it is and, you know, what the tread is on it. So... Right, next thing is a little dress um, and other stories. Uh, long sleeve, short sleeve. So it should be in here. This is my dresses. You can't see. You can't see. I can't see. Nobody can see. Oh, it's such a little titchy dress. I let it go for £15. Because I just thought, who's going to fit in this? Oh, once upon a time. I think I've probably put it in long sleeves. Uh, where is it? Oh, no. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I found it, as I thought, because it's one of the little titchy ones. It's like sneaked itself down here. And I do, I know that I probably would be better off if I put things in 
bags but i don't know sometimes it's just as easy to find things this way so that's that one now trousers these are the trousers trousers um these are the ones i've done i've just sold them please don't take everything with you right these i probably could have got more um i've had these listed for quite a while and nevertheless with shocking photos so i knew where they were straight away because i've just done some more photos um but it just didn't do the print any justice so i've let them go for 15 they're a bit cropped as well and i mean who's going to be wearing cropped trousers now i've got a pair of jeans stradarius so that'll be something that looks skinny and ridiculous it's not that um probably going to be taking the camera off in a minute because i'll never find them oh they're supposed to be men's jeans why are they in here this is the women's jeans section <sighs> Ta -da! Oh, see the clairvoyancy it, i was channeling it i was channeling it and it worked it worked 12.99 on them but i think i've only paid well i've definitely only paid two quid for them because i wouldn't have picked them up anyway it might even be a pen pen this is my box of lego that i've got listed and I, this is something i'm hoping to get round to um for lockdown because the thing is is that these actually tick over quite nicely um so these i've got two tins of these um there are generally individual pieces now this is something that i started doing on the last lockdown because obviously sourcing um was difficult so you, this was packed and so was the other one but no below it uh, let's take these wheels out of the the mix so these chocolate things were actually really good because they were all segmented off uh, yeah so these are really empty um there's not much money in it but I don't know it was something easy to do on the last lockdown and these this that i've just sold so i've got a lot of like sets of wheels here um it's a gray set so it's these ones that i've actually sold um yeah they're a bit too thick i think for me to be able to do it as a large letter um but i've got 3.99 for that which is fairly good for a set of four wheels. I might be able to get it on the thickness, but I don't know because I like to put it in between pieces of card so that there's no like interference from the old postie. So we'll see if I can actually get them into a large letter or not. But if not, I don't. Well, that's that's not money, is it? That's been made there, really, is it? If it isn't large letter, so we'll see. Right to summarise. So I have sold. These two books, which it was 50p each for these, and I've got 12.99 uh, with free postage for them. Uh, this Scrabble, which is one of the newer editions of it, so it's not worth that much, and I've only got nine quid for that. But it's second class free post for that, but never mind because it might just strike the old um, algorithm into into uh, business. Uh, so there's the Primark t-shirts. Uh, what did I say? 15? We'll put the things on. Well, we won't actually. We won't. Because I need to focus, focus, focus. So that's the one that, I, that go for 15 and other stories. And other stories. You see what I mean? Very skimpy. Very skimpy. I probably could squeeze, squeeze into that, you know. And start an only fans channel instead of reselling <laughs> uh, so those are the jeans 12.99 basic brands and then those which i've got 15 for the mint velvet which like i say they are very nice but you know yeah if uh, we're gonna if i was gonna emulate uh, somebody from a Woody Allen film, The Love Interest, then that would be great. So these are the um, tie-ins. Now I think I'm going to be okay with that. I've just, this is what I mean about not being tidy. I've just spent 10 minutes looking for these because I've managed to snaffle them away. 
So I've got an empty cereal box here. Oh, there's something else in here. Not a battery pack. That's probably actually a bit stronger, so I might use that as a backing board. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Because that's uh, a lot stronger. It's supposed to heal whole batteries. So I'll just mount them, put them on that, stick them on that, and it should still fit through there, even with the padding of that. Hopefully, that's the key. And so, funny angle time now. I've, um... That's the situation that I've ended up with the uh, tyres. So, I have, initially I put too much card on it, but it is fitting through just. So that's that done onto the pile. And then the last thing I've got is this um, aggravating game, which I haven't got much for. So all I've got, are these cut, I get, I get Get my cardboard boxes from any shop that's just throwing them away so this is just a basic cardboard box and as you can see it fits in there so just a knife and i'll pop that down and just bend that round and that will be enough to keep that safe and it's going to go second class it should be just on it'll be 295 on the ebay thing so that's all I need for that. It's not expensive packaging and it's uh, it's about five pound profit that I've made, I think, because I only paid 50p a pound for that. I've got so many games of Scrabble, I don't know what I've got, <laughs> but I won't have paid any more than a pound. So yeah, you don't have to get all caught up in packaging. Obviously I just had a branded thing there, but that's part of my shop subscription. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. While I was doing my packaging, somebody gave me an offer of £20 on this and I just thought, yeah, I'm going to take it um, because I, I need to push the sales. It does say cashmere, but it's 15% cashmere and I don't know about J Crew, I really don't. And although this is a nice jumper, it's gone, isn't it? 20 quid's okay. And uh, this is great. Look at this address. Frog Cottage. Yeah, we're moving. Lady in the Frogs HQ definitely needs a better address and frog cottage is definitely it i'm back now from doing the post uh, fatal error going really late I, I got there at like half past 11 and of course there was like this huge queue and there was one guy who was really taking social distancing to an extreme and he was seemed to be like 100 yards away from the doorway practically well not 100 yards obviously about 10 <laughs> he was <laughs> He didn't want two metres, he wanted about ten metres between everybody. So I don't know. He was wouldn't go he wouldn't go up the ramp and he wouldn't go in the shop. And I was like beginning to think that he was just somebody who was just casually leaning on a wall. So I asked him and he says, Yeah, I'm at the post office queue, obviously. <laughs> right, so yeah, I've done the post, I've dropped that off. Um yeah, so it was eight parcels in the end. Didn't say bad. Um and now I um I've tidied a load of stuff away moved some of the stuff that's incomplete which i need to like think about jigsaws that i'm going to do myself at some point when i just need a break um i put the shoes to one side that need cleaning so what i'm left with is this so this is everything now that i've got left so it's less overwhelm um i've moved to this bit because i don't know it just doesn't seem as bright over there as it is here this is where I tend to be doing it. Um, the sun is just like fluctuating. So you see I've got a shadow now here. So that's these little bits here need cleaning up. Um, so that's going to happen. I've just cleaned that teapot. Just give it a little bit of a wipe down. So the rest of these things I can just check and get on. Uh, they're brand new, those shoes. And that's an old job lot of dvds so this i should be able to do this in the day so i've got it down to a manage more manageable chunk and i think that's the key to sort of getting on successfully is to just deal with smaller amounts of stuff actually these two games need to come over to the cleaning section because they've got amazon stupid things on them so they scrub enough
And the other update that I have is how many I listed last week. So Thursday, I did 15. And then this is the count for the rest of it. So Friday, I did 22. Then I don't list so much on the weekend because like I say, um, my husband is here and it's nice to have a social life. Uh, so I did six on Saturday and 11 on Sunday. Uh, and I haven't totaled that up. Uh, what are we on? 30, 30, 50. Yeah, so about 54. Not where I want to be, but that's going to change. We're in a new week and we're going to go, yeah, positive vibes, man. Let's do this. Right, so I'm going to stop this here and I will check in again tomorrow or maybe Wednesday. You know, I am going to be putting these on you know but maybe not like daily vlog like some vloggers of noggers do so tune in again for more madness